You know, there's a moment in Circle of Life where it's everybody, like our building is kind of sep separated, like all of the actors are kind of all over the building. And I feel like Circle, Circle of Life for me is like the moment in the show where I get to kind of connect with everybody in the building. I mean, a lot of these people I've done the show with since, you know, I was in my early 20s, you know, so it's like we've kind of grown up together and seen each other's uh, uh, babies being born, like helped each other through deaths and marriages and all of those things. So I always know that that is going to be the moment where I get to connect with each person on stage at some point when I'm up there on Pride Rock. And that's pretty magical, right? It's like that regardless of what's going on in our day to day, whether we get to have the conversation or not on a day to day, I know that I'm going to get to have that eye contact and that moment, that magical moment on stage. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's been the greatest gift of being a part of uh, a long running show like this is to get to check the uh, the different spots on the bingo card, you know, and like this this experience. Broadway and Bryant Park is an iconic part of New York summers. And, uh, you know, I grew up sitting on the lawn watching people and maybe dreaming about being up there someday. So it feels really special. Part two is meeting the rest of the cast. Yeah. Like it really builds our community to see each other and do our songs from the shows that we wouldn't normally see on our HR week. It's really cool. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, it's always cool to do anything with theater in New York because it just feels like the pinnacle. It feels like the most exciting thing, like what we've dreamed of our whole lives. So. Yeah, I also think seeing all the kids in the audience, especially for Disney, like this is probably a lot of the kids' first time like interacting with a Broadway show and sort of to get that bug started early is really exciting. Yeah. It, it's crazy because I, I'm from Texas and so I'm so far removed from this New York scene. So coming up here, I'm like, oh, this is real. Like this isn't just on, like, on my phone. Like this is a real thing. And like seeing all these people here, it's a great event. I'm so glad that it keeps going. It should go on forever. It should go on forever. It should go on forever. <laughs> It, for me, it just really elevates the excitement of the day. It's just we're out here with beautiful weather, getting to see our castmates and share time together and celebrate this incredible news. So it's just really kind of like ramped up all of the excitement for the day. It seems like the timing is perfect. Being on stage with them is, is like I'm still in a master class, um, especially being on stage with CeeDee because I spend more time on stage with her and um, just to watch her every night and it's never it's never the same really um, there's always something different and it's great to feed off her and it's great when she feeds off me and l steven that's my roommate <laughs> we share dressing room so that's my guy that's my guy so it's, it's just amazing to be um you know in the company of people that's been in this company for for uh many years and and they just took me under their wings so it's all love honestly my favorite moment is friend like me um, even when I am Jasmine in the show, I watch from the wings because it's just all the moving parts. There's fireworks, there's confetti, people are tap dancing, there's costume changes. You're looking around like, what the heck is going on? I mean, it's just like the most fun firework number in the entire thing. Yeah, I think my favorite number, besides the carpet, which is the basic answer, but like a whole new world, come on, Oscar winning song, like that's pretty <laughs> iconic. But um, Arabian Nights, like right at the top of the show, the genie just like, commands the stage and brings in the whole ensemble and we build the world of Agrabah and you welcome everyone in, you see all the beautiful colors and the textures and you realize like this is the world that we're in store for for the next two and a half hours and I'm not even in it. It's just my favorite part to watch all of my colleagues dance their faces off and sing a really special number and like, start the show on the highest note. I have to say, and this is going to sound cliche because it's the song that I sing, but the song that I sing in the show is called They Live In You and it's a moment where Mufasa is teaching Simba about his ancestors in this uh, being in the stars and always there for guidance and um, my grandmother passed away actually when I was in The Lion King on tour but I feel so grateful that I get to sing that song every night and kind of find her like I, she's like a living a living and uh, um, just like inspiration every time that I sing that song so that has to be my favorite moment because I get to share that with my grandma. There are so many there are so many moments that I love but the one that has always stuck for me stuck to me from the first moment that I heard it is a song called Waves and Wires. It's just, it gives me goosebumps all over my body. I absolutely love it. It's a full company number and it's just really extraordinary. I'd never heard anything quite like it in a musical and I love it. I, I may have to echo that moment because when she first spoke about it and then we started to rehearse it, I was like, Oh wow, yeah. This is pretty penetrating and it explains so much 
about the social experiment between relationships. It's a beautiful way to really kind of examine what we go through as humans when we are loving one another. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. You know, one of my lifelong dreams is to actually share the stage with my son. He just graduated from college and he's a musical theater performer too, so I'm looking for the right show for us to be in together. Uh, he's been, he grew up with theater and he's so passionate about it and he loves it and he's actually a little better than me. So <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to the day that I can actually spend some, uh, spend some time on stage with my son. If I could share the stage with anybody, who would it be? Honestly, the people that I'm doing the show with right now, I'm floored by the amount of talent that I get to do the show with and it's crazy I'm just happy to be here oh wow if I could share the stage with anyone you know what my first thought was Denzel Washington <laughs> uh, but but really I think I would like to share the stage with my kids yeah my daughters yeah especially my six-year-old she's old enough to you know sing and, and do some things so um, yes, my daughter is actually on a cheering squad, um, so she loves to dance um, and, and sing. So she's, she's seen The Lion King many times. Um, so I think one day she wants to be young Nala, so we'll see. 106.7 FM.